Hey, dirt bike friends. Welcome to another episode of Ronnie's Two Wheel Adventures. Today, we're gonna to do something just a little bit different. I recently purchased a 2020 KTM 300 XCW, and it has the stock factory graphics on it, and they don't look really good. So I went online, found a company called Decal Works that has a tremendous uh, website for you to design your own special graphics for your bike. And today we're gonna to take a look at the graphics that just came in, and we're gonna start installing them on my 2020 KTM so we can see how much better it looks, hopefully, <laughs> with these new graphics. Stay tuned. I thought it would be helpful for us to take a look at the bike before the graphics are installed. And a few uh, items of uh, concern as we walk around the bike here. You can see there are some scratches on the bike. And this is not decal, this is called in mold graphics where they actually mold it into the plastic. We'll be applying the decals over the top of this. Now, I have seen people online actually sand off the end mold graphics, but there's no need if the graphic doesn't bleed through. All right, we have the kit all laid out now. A lot of pieces just like a puzzle. All of the uh, decals are very thick. And we're going to start with the rear fender and front fender and work the bugs out of our system that way before we go to the more curved and contour pieces. The application kit uh, consists of uh, three chemicals, uh, adhesive removal, step one. This is a cleaner, step two and then the application fluid that you actually spray on the back side of the decal as well as the plastic uh, fender. You know, we'll need a separate cloth for each one, each step, and you'll also need a hair dryer and a small squeegee. And everything but the hair dryer comes in this kit. So we're gonna get started on the rear fender and this is what it looks like before the application and then we will also show our uh, application as well but we are going to take the rear seat off one more thing i want to mention to you is is that in the application kit there is an excellent video and there's also some independent youtube videos uh, not from decal works but from other manufacturers on how to properly remove and install uh, decals on your dirt bike Okay, we're gonna start with the adhesive removal. And one thing they caution you about is to not get the adhesive remover on anything that you don't want to shine again because it will remove the plastic shine. And we're just gonna place it in this area here where the decal is going to go. So let's get started. Smells a little bit like Windex. And now we're going with step two, uh, which is the cleaner. It actually removes uh, the uh, chemical that we just sprayed on there to make sure that it's there's no residue left on there. And by the way, uh, this is the first time that uh, I have installed decal, so you can learn right along with me, mistakes and all. We're just going to do this 
fender, rear fender, uh, so that we can hopefully figure out what we need to do better on the other pieces as well. And they recommend that you spray the application fluid at least one more time on the plastic before you spray it on the a decal and clean it one more time. So that's what we'll do. Preparation is key, it appears. Now we're going to separate the backing adhesive from the decal and we're going to spray it down with the step three application fluid as we go along. And we're also going to spray down the fender really well. It's I think that can keep you from making a lot of mistakes, I'm told, if you use plenty of application fluid. Now we are dripping wet. I'm going to try to place this on here where we want it. And I'm staying away from the very edge of the fender um, so that I don't have to curve it around. You are able to move this somewhat to center it. I'm trying to let it take its natural shape on there. As we go along, we're going to pull it back just a little bit. And then we are going to, looks like we're even on both sides here. So we're just going to hand press this out a little bit before we start the squeegee. And we're just doing strokes from the middle to the outside. And they also say that uh, hair dryer works wonders. So let's try a little heat. And that's what it looks like after uh, application. Nice, perfect, uh, perfect fit. All right, it's time for the number plate that goes around the headlight. And we have cleaned and prepped the headlight cover surround. We're gonna spray a little of our application juice on here and I have pulled the number plate away used from the rubber straps holding it on and behind the uh, the brake lines as well so that we can apply this and move it around so we'll center it at the top and kind of work our way down just a little bit. We got a little bit of a contour there that we've got to work on with the hair dryer. I see that. They put a split in it for that reason. Very well thought out. And you can see as soon as I put the heat on it, it molded right into that contour very very nicely so that'll be good to remember when I start working on the fender where there's a lot more contour very nice
Okay, so we're almost three-fourths of the way through the application process of the decals. And the one thing I've discovered is, is that you need to think of the decals as almost like shrink wrap. Uh, as you apply the decal to the fender, the various contours and things overlap. Until you heat it, it doesn't conform and almost shrink up to the plastic. So one thing for sure, a hair dryer is a must. I decided to remove the shock covers so that uh, I could better apply the graphics. Well, I'm glad I took the shock covers off because it was incredibly difficult to warp the decal around the shock cover. Uh, and without the use of a hairdryer, uh, it's uh, almost impossible, so. All right, after uh, several hours, uh, we are all finished, so let's take a look. Really a nice kit, uh, Decal Works uh, does a good job. They're official decal manufacturers for Honda, KTM, several other uh, bike companies as well. So can't go wrong with these guys. Follow the instructions and uh, you can make your bike look brand new again. Thanks for joining us.